Hi there. Thank you for joining the latest unveiling from HTC. I'm Nigel Newbyhouse, and over the last 18 months, me and the team here have been obsessing over the latest flagship smartphone from HTC. And I've got to tell you, we've absolutely nailed it. I'm super excited about this product, and I wanted to share that excitement with you. Today, you'll have the chance to see how we've continued to advance our long history of innovation. We've heard you loud and clear on the things that you feel really passionate about. And you know what? They're the things we feel passionate about too. We're going to show you the world first in smartphone imaging, and you're going to see how we haven't rested until we've provided a best-in-class camera experience. Our commitment to leadership in smartphone audio brings you the best HTC boom sound ever. We're also providing the most customizable Android experience that gives you the kind of control we know you've been searching for. All of this is married to the greatest performance, battery life, design we've ever crafted. So see what me and the team have been obsessing over. Introducing the HTC 10. So, here's what makes the HTC 10 special. For one thing, it looks amazing. The first thing you're gonna notice is the all aluminum unibody construction, something we've pioneered and perfected here at HTC. The 10 is sculpted from a single piece of metal on the back and a solid slab of glass on the front. That's it, that's all. It's our purest construction yet. It balances the hardness of metal and glass with a soft curve on the back and crisp edges along the side that give it an ultra thin profile feels great to hold. And behind that glass is a stunning 5.2 inch 2K display. It's a display size that allows you still to use the phone with one hand, not risk dropping it. Everything about this phone has been refined. The texture of the buttons, the matte finish, the new USB type C connector that opens up a whole new spectrum of accessories. This phone is awesome. So, you might have noticed here at HTC, we're audiophiles. We love what incredible sound can do for music, movies, and even phone calls. So now, we've become one of the first to focus on 24-bit, high-resolution audio throughout the smartphone experience. Everything you love about Boom Sound gets even better with Boom Sound Hi-Fi Edition. The dual speakers at the top and bottom are tuned to different parts of the audio spectrum for an even cleaner, crisper, louder sound than before. With this, you get 24-bit digital signal processing, Dolby surround sound in two modes, music and theater, best-in-class DAC paired with high-powered amps make your headphones sound even better. The other thing that we have in the phone too is something we call personal audio profile. It's a little bit like a hearing test, and that gives people the ability to have a personalized audio profile that works not only for their ears, but for their headphones as well, and you can save that as a personalized setting. All these combine to bring you the most complete HTC Boom sound ever. HTC, we're passionate about imaging, and I'm one of those annoying guys at the weekend that's looking to frame up every single part of the day. We know great camera quality is important to you guys, and that's why we've been working hard to make the HTC 10 the best camera experience we have ever produced. And I'm pleased to tell you that we've absolutely killed it. Now you may remember back in 2013, we introduced a new technology called UltraPixel. UltraPixel focused on bigger pixels, meaning that you get more light on your image. That was a great technology, but back then, the sensor only came with four megapixels. That meant you couldn't zoom in, or if you did zoom in, the image broke up. So in the past couple of years, we've been working tirelessly to bring you the best of both worlds. And I'm pleased to announce today the new HTC 10 combines a 12 megapixel sensor with our UltraPixel technology. That means 
you can zoom in and do all the fancy editing we know you love to do, but you're gonna get just a stunning quality photo as a result of UltraPixel. But you know what? We didn't stop there. That's not good enough. We wanna push the boundaries. So what we've done on the rear camera in combination with your 12 megapixels is that we've added optical image stabilization. Now you can think of optical image stabilization as kind of a shock absorber for your camera that offsets and compensates for any micro movements in the camera as you're taking a shot and restabilizes that image to give you a pin sharp output. But what we've also done is something that we believe is a world first. We've added optical image stabilization to the front facing camera as well. So front camera, back camera, optical image stabilization, no one has ever done that before. So we set out to make the best camera out there in the marketplace. I'm pleased to tell you, we've done it. Now, when it comes to performance, the moment you start using the HTC 10, you're gonna notice just how smooth and responsive it is. That's because it's powered by Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 820 processor. Now with a quick touch of the fingerprint sensor, you're gonna see the 2K 5.2 inch display spring to life. Then apps launch in a snap, screens scroll beautifully, games respond instantly. But we've been careful to make sure you can get all this performance without paying the price in battery life. And we're pleased to tell you the HTC 10 is the most power efficient HTC device ever. Use the phone for a few days, you're gonna experience just how good it is. The battery just lasts and lasts. If you do run out of juice, we've incorporated Quick Charge 3 technology. So you can quickly get back to a day's worth of power in as little as 30 minutes, the time it takes to walk to the coffee shop and back. I've been using the phone for a month now, and I'm convinced you're gonna be amazed just how good this phone is. Now when it comes to user experience, with the HTC 10, we've gone smarter, faster, and leaner. Everything you see on the screen has been streamlined for a great out-of-box experience. By teaming up with Google, we've been able to eliminate a lot of the duplication that clutters many smartphones. The apps you're gonna find on the HTC 10 have been handpicked to bring you the very best of Google and HTC. We've also made sure that the high-res audio story that comes with the HTC 10 works perfectly with Google Play Music. HTC Zoe videos sync beautifully with Google Photos, and HTC transfer tools work in concert with Google Backup and Restore. Keeping your data safe has never been so easy. And with the HTC themes, we've added some new fun customization options to really personalize your device. Using themes, you can do away with the standard home screen grid to enjoy pixel by pixel creativity, using beautifully designed stickers to act as apps, widgets, or shortcuts. Or just remove them all for a truly clean and pure experience to reflect truly who you are. Yeah, the HTC 10 is the most customizable, most personal device we've ever made. So of course, at HTC, we love the new 10, but we wanted to share the device with a group of folks over the past couple of weeks to get their reaction. Let's hear what they had to say. I have used HTC phones for over 12 years. I like the design, the innovation. I've had an HTC phone ever since you guys were making phones for T-Mobile. Ever since then, I've just been hooked. HTC is a company that listens to us and actually does something about it. I like HTC mainly because of their commitment to great build quality, great software, and great customer service. I'm feeling super, super excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. This is the new HTC 10. Nice. Yes. Gorgeous. This design is entirely sculpted by light. I'm very impressed with the design of the phone. I thought it was really pretty. The same design that we always loved, and the chaffer edges, it just, it gives a character. I don't even know how to describe it. Definitely like blew my socks off. Went a little bit further to just make it even better than it's ever been. It's a really beautiful device. Just, it feels like it's meant to go in your hand. It fits in your hand perfectly. Fantastic camera, 100%, front and back. The clarity and the ability to post edit. I love the selfie part of the camera. When I took that one selfie picture, oh my god. It makes a difference in your photography, in your videos, and to have that in the front with the 1.8 aperture lens, it's just insane, like no one's doing that. This really performs well in a dimmer situation. We were in really low lighting here and it was awesome.
Hi-Fi boom sound on this is incredible. It's a massive improvement over boom sound in previous generations. You can hear a lot more clarity. The bottom of the phone actually separates the treble from the bass, and it's like a subwoofer on the bottom of your phone. It is the best quality that you've heard. This is super fast. When you turn it on, the 2K display just adds so much to it. So yeah, it's like a beautiful phone, you know? And the saturation, the color and depth is really good. It's nice because it's customization, but it's like clean. It's not like a bunch of like little widgets and everything is kind of like in its own box. It just like comes in like super clean. Exactly how I want. It's unintrusive. It moves around. Everything seems to work really well. Battery life is like the most important thing to be able to use apps and actually get through the entire day. Just having the quick charge ability doesn't make me rely on having a big battery anymore. The fact that I can get up to 50% in a half hour is amazing. It's innovative, it's different. It's certainly better than anything I've experienced on a phone before. I was blown away. I'm sold. Really beautiful device. Can't wait to get my hands on one. So there you have it. People are getting excited. And if you can't wait to experience it for yourself, you can be one of the first to own an HTC 10 by pre-ordering today at htc.com. Also, check out our lab at htc.com to see some of the things that have inspired our team. And if you have any more questions, feel free to hit us up on Twitter at HTC USA. Want to see even more? Then join me on HTC's US Facebook page tonight from 6 p.m. Eastern for a sneak peek before our launch event. Hope to see you there, and thanks for watching. HTC's flagship Android smartphone for this year has a lot of new hardware and a lot of new software, so let's take a quick look through it. First of all, we have the 5.2 inch diagonal uh, 2560 by 1440 2K screen. So that bumps the screen up to a resolution which is comparable with the latest LG or Samsung smartphones. We also have below the screen a very fast fingerprint scanner. Along with, your, uh, along with your back button and your multitasking button. Up on the top here is the 5 megapixel front camera. Now let me flip it over and you'll see something interesting. Check these out. I don't know if, if I should call them chamfers or what. They're like ultra chamfers. Well, in any case, we have an ultra pixel camera on the back, but HTC has bumped that up to 12 megapixels, ultra pixels, whatever you want to call it. They say it's very good in low light. We have the dual tone flash. And then on top, I'm very excited for, of all things, the headphone jack. HTC says there's a one volt headphone amp in here. It's much more powerful than the headphone amps on other uh, leading smartphones. And so you may find that this phone is much more able to drive powerful headphones for really great sound. Now speaking of sound, there's an unusual dual speaker setup on this phone. Up at the top here, we have a tweeter. And then along the bottom, well, this is the call speakerphone, but it's also a woofer. So it's not really stereo sound, it's separated sound. And uh, in a moment, I'll play you something to see what that sounds like. Now, we, you also see that there's a USB-C port down here. This is true USB-C, and it works with a Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 charger uh, to get you up to about 50% in 30 minutes. The processor in here is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820, like a lot of the other leading smartphones. And we are running Android 6.0, but with HTC's Sense skin. And now you notice one of the crazy things about Sense right now, the new version of Sense, is this is what's called a freestyle layout. And you can see that you can put uh, stickers instead of simple icons for your apps. And they can be pretty much anywhere on the screen. Now you can also still have widgets. And also still, if you swipe to the left, you get HTC's News Republic uh, news app. Now let me uh, call up some music here. And we'll see what that sounds like. So I'm going to call up a song on Amazon Music. And you'll see how that... Uh, So we have really loud, built-in speakers. I can definitely feel the bass coming out of the bottom and the top being a lot more treble. 
So th these are all things that we're going to look at uh, much more closely in our full review, which is coming soon. Um, other specs, of course, it has uh, Bluetooth, NFC, 802.11ac, Wi-Fi. Uh, it looks like it comes in 32 gig and 64 gig models. And uh, HTC told uh, four gigs of RAM. And HTC told us that uh, there's an unlocked version that's compatible with both AT&T and T-Mobile. Um, but uh, as of this first hands-on, we hadn't heard anything about US carrier versions. When we first fire up the camera and you're an old HTC user, you'll notice that, well, things are a little bit different. The viewfinder doesn't take up the entire display and it's a lot less cluttered. Now that's because it defaults to a four by three ratio. We can change it to a 16 by nine and it will take up the entire viewfinder, but we're gonna keep it in four by three because that's the optimal resolution. Now, if we snap a quick shot, and then we head into Google Photos, you can see that there are black bars on the side still. Heading back into the camera app, you'll notice two icons down here, video and selfie. And that's because those are the two commonly most used modes. If we hit video, you'll notice it doesn't automatically start. And that's because we want to avoid any accidental video taking. We can also take a video in selfie mode. When we open up the slide out menu, you can see we have different groupings, photo, video, and selfie. Now you'll notice if we head into something like video, we have specific settings in the sub menu. You can also see that we can take a photo or a selfie. If we hit hyperlapse, the settings stay the same. If we slide on up to panorama, you can see that things change. We can still take a selfie, but now we can access video. And now I'm gonna share with you some photography tips on how to take a great photo with the HTC 10s camera. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure your lens is clean. Using a microfiber cloth is best, and why not give the flash a polish too? And don't cover the laser autofocus, though the HTC 10 will tell you if you are. After taking a photo, be sure to stay steady because HDR auto is on by default. Now HDR takes a few pictures at once to ensure the best quality photo. Now, if you're picking a photo of something that's maybe moving quickly, be sure to turn HDR off. You can do that in the corner right here. You can also head into pro mode. You can see that we have a lot of options, shutter speed, ISO, exposure, white balance. But where it gets interesting is you can actually shoot raw photos. Now these are very large file formats, but you get a ton of information and you can do a lot with those pictures. Now if you're not planning on, say, importing it into a photo editing software, you can switch to JPEG. Now if Pro Mode's a little bit too much for you, you can actually adjust the exposure value by just tapping and then scrolling up and down. Another feature that HTC has enabled is called sightseeing mode. Say you're walking around taking a bunch of pictures and you turn your display off, but you want to hop back into the camera real quick. Just hit the power button and there you are again, bypassing any security features that you might have enabled. If you want to turn on the camera real quick when the screen is off, just swipe down twice. Both cameras have OIS, meaning you can take a mean photo in low light. 